bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. Prestige Living Podcast. So with that, who do you want to be? Hello, welcome to Prestige Living. This is Jay O'Brien with another segment of Be Bold. One of the things in life that every single person possesses, granted in different capacities, are insecurities. And this can revolve around jealousy, body image, intellect, money, social status, etc. And almost all of us have a complex that has birthed this insecurity from an early age. Perhaps a specific event that triggered us to always second guess this particular thing. And we see it come up all the time in social situations, whether it be with friends or in a relationship. And it's often the demise of a very good thing. Whether it be a solid friendship or Maybe it's uh, what was once a healthy relationship with a significant other. And the reason these things escalate from an insecurity to the end of a human relationship is all based on perception. And how we perceive actions, words, human behavior, etc. For example, one action displayed by a friend could be severely misinterpreted and cause pain and hurt from one person receiving it versus another who it rubs off almost as like a meaningless joke. The root of the two different outcomes is what really matters. One person is perceiving the words, actions, etc. entirely differently than the other and in reality probably misinterpreting them entirely from how they were intentionally supposed to be delivered in the first place. So say there's a group of three guys at bar trivia and two of them immediately know an answer to one of the questions and the third person totally flops. One of the friends looks up laughing and calls the other guy an idiot. The outcome of this interaction can vastly differ depending on how the words are perceived. Let's say that that friend number three was ridiculed at a young age by his father, maybe earned poor grades in school, possibly had to have an after hours tutor, for example, when his friends didn't. He may immediately take this surface-level jab as a deep-seated stab to his well-being, causing an overreaction, resentment toward the other person, or maybe even a blow-up that ends the relationship entirely from how offended it made him feel. Whereas this could have easily gone the other way, where friend number three maybe has absolutely no emotional tie to a lack of intellect, is confident in that area in his life, if you will, and shrugs off the jab as absolutely meaningless and moves forward with the game. We all have experienced situations like these where we have personally overreacted to things said or done to us that were never intended to actually hurt us to our core. In fact, it's more on us and how we perceive it. It's easy to be quick to act as the victim rather than pausing for a moment and thinking to yourself, why am I feeling this way right now? That might look something like this. A close friend or significant other encourages you to work out with them. Think of all the different ways this can be interpreted and perceived by one's self depending on their own background, their own complexes, and their own insecurities. The challenge is, whether you possess insecurities or not around body image, health, wellness, what have you, it's up to you to pause and think of the question as, is this person trying to bully me? Are they trying to poke fun at me? Are they trying to passively ridicule me by telling me to work out? Or are they trying to coach me, teach me, show their love for me? Notice how differently you may react even just thinking about the statement from a different angle. And as you perceive it, you might say, is this person trying to coach me with those words? Are they trying to ridicule me with those words? And if you can dwell on it for a little bit and kind of reflect, you'll probably see that it's all coming from a very positive place. As if it's coming from a different place than your mind has fooled you into thinking. If we can do this and constantly make this a practice of ours, we can at least curb the inevitable insecurities we all have and move one step closer to tying relationships closer together rather than finding ways to dissolve them. Be open to being wrong. Be open to learning. 
Be aware that you are already good enough and you're only getting better. And be bold.